Run. Run. Well, hello, friends. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the third episode of Chaos Mode, uh, after very nearly dying in the last episode. Out of stamina, weapons broken, really bad time to have your weapon break. Oh god! Is this how it ends? No! Reload faster, you piece of Let's take a painkiller. Oh god, my weapon is broken. We are bleeding. Are we gonna survive? That is the question. Do I have a bandage? I do not have a bandage. Pray. Uh, so first things first today, I want to drink one of these mega crushes and go over and visit Chen for the second time. She should be on her third round of loot and hopefully we can find some good healing items, maybe some guns other than our shotgun so we can start to utilize the ammo that we've been finding. And other than that, we're just gonna chaotically try and uh, survive for another four days. And uh, we got some nitrate powder here. I'm gonna mark this on the map in case we ever find the time to do some mining. We've got some lead right here a little bit further down the road. Let's mark that as well. And we have some iron right here. So we've now got not necessarily the best locations, but we have all four minerals located on the map, which is good. I'll probably grab just a little bit of this iron before we move on. I'm low with. Okay, she has got some sugar butts. Let's go ahead and take those, because we're about to sell a bunch of stuff. And I think we're actually doing really well on food and water, surprisingly. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Hi, Dr. Jen. Let's see what you have got to sell. Let's sell all of our junk first and go from there. We got 3,600 coin. Hopefully she has some good stuff. Let's buy that cobblestone right off the bat. Uh, Grandpa's awesome sauce. That's tempting. If there's nothing else, we will definitely buy that. Uh, let's take this BDU top hunter mod and a serrated blade mod. We can find homes for those for sure. Oh, first aid bandage. That is exactly what I wanted. I wish she had more, but... You know what? Beggars can't be choosers. I will take one. That's going to help get rid of this nasty abrasion that we have. And in the secret stash, she has one level one pocket mod. That's perfect. And that's going to unlock that last inventory slot. Let's take the structural brace mod. As far as weapons, it looks like all she has is hunting rifles, which is not something I'm super crazy about. So why don't we go back? We'll take this grandpa's awesome sauce and, uh, Try and get some value out of that in the future. Alrighty then. Stay safe out there. Let's use this first aid bandage. That should heal us up quite a bit. Alright, we got all of our mods on. And it would oops, what did I just do? I crafted a club. I did not want to do that. It is already <laughs> It's already horde time, guys. Oh, this is brutal. I quickly, quickly need to find a place that I can reinforce. Uh, maybe this mobile home over here. Worst case scenario, we can get on top of it and deal with them like that. Uh, where's the entrance? All right, I'm just going to bust through the front door because they are about to get here. Hopefully these walls are strong, but I honestly have no idea. And I'm sure we've got some friends right in here. Let's take care of him. Let's throw a frame down and upgrade that. They'll be here any second. Let's just start looting while we wait for them to show up. Because we really can't waste any time. And we just got two healing bandages. That is excellent. Alright, sounds like they're here. Let's get this done. They are not all coming for the front door. You can definitely hear them banging on the walls out here. Which is, you know, not what you want, but... There's not really much we can do about it. We just got to keep our eyes peeled. And as things start to break, we'll have to fight them there. But the walls around here must be fairly tough. They got a thousand HP. There must be some sort of iron. Oh, there's an engine here. That's really useful. If only we had a wrench, we could get an engine out of there. Although, now that I think about it, we have absolutely no use for engines this playthrough. We already have our cement mixers, and we are not allowing ourselves any vehicles, so yeah, engines are useless other than selling. Oh, that's so much ammo. Looks like they're getting through right here. Let's see if we can take care of them through this hole. 
Kinda awkward. Oh god, where the fuck did you come from? Oh, bad dog. That's concerning. Did you come from here? We need to keep our shotgun loaded. That could have could have got us killed. All right, the horde hath been cleared out. We're already in this place, so let's just finish looting it. Ooh, two painkillers. That's a sweet find right there. Come on, ah, uh, claw hammer. You know what? I'll take a claw hammer. That's pretty cool. We can use that, maybe. Found some shorts. Those are better than our fiber leggings, so let's uh, get rid of those. You know, I don't need that clogging up my inventory. Throw our mod in there. And what else do we got? A medical pile, glass jars. I'll take it. Uh, we got a bunch of lock picks. Let's crack into here real quick. Ooh, a bunch of cash. That's pretty cool. And a knife upgrade. I will take that. Zinye. Hi, little buddy. Get back, Karen. Ya bitch. Fucking cornmeal. Get out of here. More painkillers. Another good find. Speaking of all these painkillers, why don't we take some? We're missing a decent amount of health. And that is what they're there for, after all in here just some rotten flesh all right here's the main loot let's see what we got uh, let's scrap that some ammo some parts to sell nothing wrong with that and ooh, a level six stone axe and a level two iron pickaxe that is excellent very very good more shotgun shells very cool and come on repair kits big 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 money repair kits damn it Two wheels. That would, again, be an excellent, excellent find if we were using vehicles or trying to craft a vehicle. But as it is, it's kind of useless. Uh, we need to get out of here. And I kind of sealed myself in, so let's just kind of bang through the wall and get back home, try and get unloaded and prepared for the next board. Foolish rabbit. Right, we don't have much time before the horde gets here. I'm just going to kind of run around our base and see if I can find any mineral nodes that we can use. That would be a little bit closer than the ones all the way down by the trader. Uh, we might as well also grab some wood while we're out here. Can't have too much wood. Uh, this block was about to break. Let's just knock it out and replace it with better cobblestone. Here they come. Let's get inside. And I did grab our pipe bombs, three of them. So maybe we can use those tonight. Although this place is a little bit small to be trying to use explosives in. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just see what happens. Bars are starting to take some damage. That's not great. Uh, let's try and get this repaired. Maybe I should take that claw hammer we found and leave it in here so we can use it to repair stuff more efficiently at night. Also considering trying to adapt this place to make it a little bit more explosive friendly. If we are going to be using this for a while. It might be worth the time. Let's get up on the roof and see if they scatter. I'm expecting that they will. Let's, uh... Oops. That did not go the way that I wanted it to. There we go. The light touch is better. That cleared them up pretty good. Let's just take care of these stragglers. Come here, asshole. Stop it. Oh my god, this guy does not want to die. There we go. I think we got a loot bag over here. A bunch of ammo and stuff we can sell. That's fantastic. Yeah, so maybe let's spend today working on this base a little bit, because it's, uh, it's not doing so hot. I 
forgot, I have a iron pickaxe now. That's a lot better than our stone axe for breaking through this kind of stuff. That damn wall safe is in the way, but we can get that out of the way pretty quickly. Alright, so we got some of our iron smelting down. We are crafting out forged iron because rather than using a hatch to defend uh, during hordes, I want to use iron bars. And we are going to fill in this hole over here. And to get inside, we are just going to add some ladders on the outside and get in through the roof. And, uh, God, now that I'm thinking about it, though, if I put iron bars right here, they're just going to bang on the walls. So we really need to... <laughs> it would almost be better just to start from scratch at this point. But you know what? We're already committed. Let's uh, let's make this happen. And my guess is that they are going to go for the walls which I don't like, but we're just going to have to deal with it because I don't have any other choice. And there we go. Just one ladder right here. We can get on that and then jump and then get inside here. Oh my god, go in the hole. And maybe we should try and put a hatch up here. Although, I think this is half block, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Uh, not very well, apparently. Maybe we can... Oh, this is super janky, but what the hell? Something just blew up over there. Don't see that every day. Uh, <laughs> does this work? <laughs> I think it works. Oh my god, this is the jankiest little horde base ever. And I love it. Alright, here they come. Oops. Oh, that takes forged iron to repair. Let's see where they go. Yeah, they're just kind of kind of going all over the place. That really defeats the purpose. The whole point of this is to try and get them concentrated in one area where I can throw bombs. Um, do I still have that one pipe bomb on me? Yes, I do. Let's head up to the roof and see if we can get some good value out of this one pipe bomb. All right, so we just want to light it and just gently drop it down. Very nice. You know, this horde base is not working out the way I wanted it to. And I really wish we hadn't spent the whole day invested so much time into trying to improve it just to have it, you know, not be any better than it was. Oh god, that's a dog. Uh, so I'm going to learn from this. And moving forward, we're going to spend our days focusing on looting and dealing with the zombies where they are. You know, if we happen to be at home, we'll continue to use this place, but... I don't want to invest any more resources than I need to. And of course, our most important resource is time, given the conditions of this playthrough. Let's check this loot bag. Just some coin there, no problem. We got another one. Ooh, robotic sledge turret. Very, very, very cool. Uh, I'm tempted to keep that on my body. Maybe slap him down like... They really seem to like this spot, so maybe if we slap him down right here, he'll knock him around the corner or something. I don't know. I'm just winging it. But that seems pretty good. Let's uh go get organized and try and get one more POI looted. Hot damn, we also have five skill points. Um, I'm just going to grab... No, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on, let's think this through. Let's not be hasty. Let's throw another point into Fortitude. Let's get Rank 2 of Pain Tolerance. Rank 2 of Healing Factor. And, oh. Rule 1 Cardio. This is super nice. So Rank 2 of that. Very good. I think those are points well spent. Now, let's pop one of these Mega Crushes and go find a POI to loot. Whoa, dickhead. 
This place looks as good as any. I want to say this is a junkyard. I don't think I've ever done this place before. But there's a first time for everything. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's uh, let's get this place looted up. What's up, cowboy? What you doing? Napping on the job? Lazy piece of shit. Dude, there is an insane amount of garbage in this place. Like, oh my god, it's gonna take all day to loot this. I mean, I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. Like, the, the really high-profile stuff that I can get out of garbage is not what I'm majorly concerned about right now. I think we should probably just go for the main loot. And, uh, man, it feels bad to, to have all this garbage and not loot it, but, uh... What the hell did that chicken just do? That chicken killed a zombie, confirmed. I didn't have to see it. I know how to put two and two together. Steel and honey there, that's excellent. I ain't even gonna fuck with that chicken. What the hell? Oh, I guess that's for servicing cars? I guess? Huh. This place seems like it has good... Uh, good board base potential. And we are going to have a horde on our hands very soon, so we should probably try and reinforce and get prepared. We got some tough guys in here. Whoa! I missed. We're fine. We're chilling. He's dead. Were you guarding anything? There's a whole, whole thing down here. Gotcha. Uh, I don't want to deal with you yet, sir. Oh, helmet light mod? Sure, why not? We can take that and sell it. Give me a wrench. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Finally, we have a wrench that we can use. Let's deal with this guy. And we need to get set up. They will be here very soon. What's the wall strength here? 1200? That's pretty good. Alright, so they're either going to hit us from here, which I doubt, or from here, which I think is more likely. So let's put a frame down. Let's upgrade that. All the way to cobble and we might as well do the same thing here just to be on the safe side and i think we're going to be pretty safe there is one more path there they come heading up to the roof here so that can be an escape path for us if need be let's try and take care of these guys real quick oh that's a dog god damn it you know what we've got we've got 80 shotgun shells it's time to start using shotgun ammo a little bit Holy shit the balls, that almost broke. How are they doing so much damage to that block right now? Oh my. What the hell? This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Why are you doing so much damage? Oh god, that's gonna break. You gotta retreat. Oh dear, this might be where it ends. Uh... Nope, doesn't look like they can get up here. That's good. I sure wish I had some Molotovs or some explosives right now. Assuming we survive the night, that's something we should uh, start looking into. <laughs> oh, well, hey, it's kind of nice. When they do get up here, they're, like, stupid about it. They don't really do anything with their newfound position of power. Let's try and take care of that dog. Not quite, but a good start. There's Mo. Yep, yep, yep. That's unfortunate. Right, they're looking pretty thinned out. We can probably just jump down there and finish this with melee. We have our guns if we need them. Lay down, thick girl. What are you doing? It's not helpful. Um, okay, we survived. And we got a loot bag down here. 
Uh, nice. Bunch of ammo. We can get iron, some food. We can sell all of that. Still got friends coming up to join us. And I'm starting to think this place just doesn't have a main loot. It's just got kind of a weird layout to it. And that's always a good indicator that there's no main loot at the end. Whoa! Hi there! Right, but that is day 14. So we're going to try and... Should we get back to the base or should we just call it a day here? What the hell? Man! This is rough. Alright, this place isn't as great as I thought it was. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying this chaos series. And uh, if you are, smash that like button and let me know down, down in the comments. But uh, either way, I will see you guys here next time with more chaos. Love your faces. Bye.